Hey guys, Gaming Online here. Today I'm gonna be showing you guys how I learned how to quick scope, um, no scope, and stuff. So this is gonna be just a simple tutorial. This is on Modern Warfare 4 uh, or Modern Warfare Remastered on Xbox One, and uh, I'm gonna be showing you my sniper classes and my whole class setup that I use. So first, uh, we're gonna be using the M4083. Uh, just really basic the first sniper which is basically the best one you can also use um, R700 uh, which is basically the same just more damage but has less accuracy so it's a little harder to hit those shots but you're gonna uh, use your M4083 and you're gonna get, I prefer to use ACOG you don't have to I feel like it makes it a little better for me uh, it depends on what your preference are I'd try both of them to see which one you're better at with and stuff so and camo doesn't matter I just love this camo and you it doesn't matter you can choose anything um, I just don't recommend this one this one's garbage uh, even though it's supposed to be a really rare one I just bought this one because it's a really good one and um, sidearm doesn't really affect how you play it's just really good um, I'd rather prefer the deserted eagle it's really it's uh, well advances over other these, all these guns even though some of them have better accuracy than this one that's all it does and it just decreases everything else like damage and range but uh, grenade uh, I just usually choose flash or I mean stun grenade because it's I don't know it's just preference you can choose whatever one you want but and this this first one is also another preference uh, I think actually all these perks are a preference except for the third one uh, bandolier uh, if you're really good at it, and it's like in, uh, what is it, uh, what map are we doing? Shipment, it's a, good, it's a really good map for shipment, and because in case you're quick scoping a lot, it's a lot of help especially, and uh, stopping power I guess is also a preference if you want, uh, I highly recommend this one because it increases bullet damage so you won't have to use two shots to kill the person, or you can use increased rate of fire so you can shoot a little faster. And I really recommend this one, if you're, especially if you're no scoping or quick scoping, because it will count it as a no scope when you shoot them. So hip fire accuracy will definitely help. And I just use this one melee for no reason; it doesn't matter. And yeah, so basically you just want to have your sniper with an ACOG. Uh, that's my preference. And I'll go into the settings, what you'll need to change in a little bit. I'm right now going to turn off my first bot right now, just to show you kind of what you need to do before. And you can, I would recommend trying to use a bot to kind of play around with, go in private matches uh, with your friends, I guess, and have them kind of walk back and forth and try practicing quick scoping on them. But I'm going to show you some settings and the preferences also that you'll need to change. So we're just going to start this. Free for all. And we got to wait. And we got to wait. And we're going to wait. And we're going to wait. Okay, so now that we have waited for the uh, time to finish uh, loading and stuff, I'm going to show you some of the setting preferences that um, I would re recommend changing. I recommend 8, 9, or 10 as a preference, even though you can go to like, what, 20, which is crazy. I wouldn't recommend that high, but if you're really good, then whatever, I don't care. You can choose whatever setting you want. But 10, anything about 8 or higher and 15 and less is really good. I've, I haven't tried the other ones, anything higher than this, very high. But I've, I've tried some, I actually tried 13. It was crazy for me and I wasn't able to control anything. I just spin around and just scope everything. So I'm going to show you a quick uh, little tutorial, I guess, to get you started on how to quick scope. You're just going to, okay, so you know how when you see people quick scoping in video games or in Modern Warfare and you, like, you don't even see the crosshair, it's just like, you see, like, see this, and then the quick scope, it's like legit this, and you don't even see their scope. But in actuality, you're actually very closely, like, you barely see it when you quick scope, so it's like, like that, boom, and you're done. You barely see it, and it doesn't come up as a scope shot, but it comes up as a hip fire, which makes it a no scope. So it also is pretty um, legit, I guess, because it it's not really a hack, I guess. It's kind of just a default, kind of broken thing in here, I guess, through all Modern Warfare and stuff. So yeah, 
And uh, so I'm just gonna say, you're just gonna quick scope like this is a quick scope, and this is just one of them. I'm gonna show you at least three or four, I think. So here's just one, just quick scope like this, and just kind of run around, and, like jump like that. Just gonna, like we're gonna test this out with the bot later and stuff. So it's like not gonna be completely boring and stuff without all of that garbage. So. That's one of them. Now we're gonna do the drag fire, which is basically when you're about to quick scope. And also, here's another tip: when you're quick scoping, you want to stop moving. You do not want to keep running and aiming because that it just doesn't work. Like, okay, so you're trying to quick scope, you're just gonna keep moving. It doesn't help because it slows you down as you're walking, and you're more vulnerable that way. You just want to stop, quick scope, and then run. That's basically the only way you're gonna do it. And so now we're gonna move on to the drag fire. So what you're gonna do to do this is as you're running and you see someone kind of running across, they're obviously not gonna stand still and try to like take you out as you're trying to quick scope them. They're not gonna stop for you so that you can quick scope them, no. So as you're as they're running by, you're just gonna quick scope and like drag like that. Boom, quick scope, done. And that's basically it for the drag. Uh, it's, it's just like this, boom. Boom, boom. You just want to kind of estimate, or I guess guess, where they're going to go. So if he's going to run through this crate, I know he's going to run a little bit further. So he's just going to kind of aim forward a bit and fire. And uh, this is obviously another one is if someone's like about from here right in front of us. This is the, the person right here. And we're right here. You're obviously just going to get your sniper and just fire. This is a no scope. And it's just... You don't need to pull out your pistol and go like spraying crazy everywhere for no reason. You're just gonna come up to them and spray just like that if they're that close. And if they're a little further away, like say that barrel is a person, just quick scope them as usual. So that's another way to do it. And that's basically it. So we're gonna just go ahead and test this out on a bot to show you guys kind of what I mean. He's gonna be on recruit, so I'm just gonna set this up. Okay, so I'm actually going to just show you guys some uh, quick scope clips that I have against these bots when I was first trying out and stuff. So, uh, yeah, let's get it.